How far can your template SHA go? There are many template shareholder agreements online, but how far can they actually go? Some founders come to look for us after signing their template agreement, not realizing what they have actually signed. 1. The case of the defaulting shareholder. A shareholder's agreement should provide for recourse when a particular shareholder suffers an event of default, example, a bankruptcy or a material breach of the terms. Whilst the specific recourse varies, the solutions are typically as follows. Transfer of shares at a nominal or discounted price subject to the rules on penalty provisions. Transfer of shares at a price determined by the parties acting in agreement. Transfer of shares at a valuation determined by an independent valuer or a fixed formula. 2. Managing investors. As a founder, you should ideally spend the bulk of time operating your company rather than managing investors. In this respect, some of these mechanisms could be helpful. Clubbing all investors in a single entity. Appointing an authorized representative whom management will liaise with directly. Issuing a limited power of attorney for you to act on behalf of investors. Three, future investment rounds. Finally, as a founder, you don't want to be in a position where you're handcuffed from raising more capital. This could arise if you need investor consent in order to issue more shares. You need investor consent to transfer founder shares. So, whilst a template shareholders agreement is a good starting point for parties to negotiate, you should think about what you and your business needs in order to succeed. Your success will be your investor's success, and you should find a partner that believes in your vision.